Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV and welcome to the next part of my Boyhood Dream series with Gillingham FC on FM 2015 and here we go again. It is the replay, we've got them back to Priestfield, uh, it is Sunderland and we're going to take him on with a very attacking, aggressive formation. Dak and Hessenthaler in the middle, Calvert and Leg at centre-back, Shimek and Painter, our two sort of backup full-backs, if you like, are going to get a run out here. Dickinson and McGlashan, so we've got uh, pace on both wings. Um, unfortunately, our Liverpool players are cup-tied, so we can't uh, throw them in, apart from Jordan Lussey, who's uh, coming back from injury, five to eight days. So probably won't see him in the next game or until the next part, but... We shall see. We might get lucky. Uh, so, Cody Mack and Emil Heskey up front. It's been working fairly well with those two. Would have liked to have seen a few more goals from uh, McDonald. Okay, now let's get to it. Fairly similar side to what we're dealing with last time. Again, a good side. Players relaxed and happy going into this. Feeling positive. She makes touch heavy though already. Well then JKS and Tyler. Making himself known. He's uh, been a bit of a run of poor form lately. Stephen Fletcher in. No offside flag. Bit unfortunate. Adam Johnson trying to get inside. Jordi Gomez just over the top. Glashing across the box. Heskey tries for it. Cody McDonald. Go and bundle it in. Oh, wow. How have we not scored that? Rafael Calvert forces a save. Cody McDowell to Dickinson. Tries to scramble it in. Well, you know you're in trouble when John O'Shea is scoring against you. <coughs> Nelson with a palm off at one of these two painters. Left him. Let him go completely. Shimak up to McDonald. Hassan Tyler gets in but can't come away with it.
think unfortunately we're going to see this game pretty much peter out to nothing. You know, leg one for Heskey to run onto. Very sharp save from Adam Johnson, I think that might have been. Needed to be made. Let's see if we can change it up. All change up front. Norris and Bright on for Heskey and McDonald. Frank Schimmick injured, uh-oh. That might scupper any chances of him getting some more first-team football. <laughs> Which he's been bleating on about. Norris, chance for one. Chris Bright. <coughs> Back of the net. There's a bit of a chance for Norris or Bright to get themselves in the side, I think. Because I've not been hugely impressed with how uh, McDonald's finishing's gone. I know he's involved quite a lot in the build-up play and the like, but... We need something that can put the ball in the back of the net at the end of the day, especially with the amount of chances we've been creating lately. Picking up draws isn't enough. We need three points. <clears throat> Two minutes left to play, still in this. Let's see to try and nick a goal from somewhere. <clears throat> Since I ran into the stand. Final minute of the game. Last chance to mount an attack. Leg well in. Nelson again going to try and dispatch it goal bound. Last 20 seconds of the game. Last attack, last chance. Bright, dispossessed. And I think that's all she wrote. It is. But to be fair, we made it work. Really made it work in both legs. <laughs> oh, that was fun. And uh, Antonio German goes out and uh, ends up picking up an ankle injury. Awkward. Right, never mind. 
back to league matters now. We still need to do something about that league position and us being, well, game in hand, 10 points away from safety. Uh, we've got games coming up against Coventry, who are next, and uh, Port Vale, who we've already beaten once this season. So if we can pick up two lots of three points there, that gets us pretty much in that kind of ballpark. Still a bit of a tough ask, though. So let's see what we can do against Coventry, anyway. I think it might have been the last part where I said that Luke Freeman went to... Um... I'm completely lost with where I'm going with this. I'll just look up where he's he's uh, playing his football at the moment because I think it might be Luke Freeman, Bristol City. After all that, okay, so it wasn't either them or Oldham who I thought it might have been. It was neither of those two. Good job, me. Okay, so. Let's get ready and, and let's do this. So Kent's going in. Brannigan's got a slot in alongside Pritchard. Hmm. How's Dax Fitness? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's try something a little bit different, see how we get on with it. While we're at it, Freddie Eastwood's not going to get any action. Let's see if I can get him a, a loan move for the rest of the season. Okay. So, we're off and we're underway. It's a spot on the bench for Jake Hessenthaler, who has been struggling a bit of late. Simeon Jackson. ex Jules player, again went to the Premier League, uh, played for Norwich. Tell that to go and hunt for revenge. Ryan Kent, chance to run. Liverpool Loney. Gary McDonald knocks back to Heskey, to Brannigan, to Kent. Heskey tries to uh, skew it goal bound. Goes out for a corner. Nelson now to stop that free kick. Dickinson to Heskey. To Brannigan. Back to Heskey. Slow build up, nowhere to go. Here we go, Cody McDonald forces a sharp save from the goalie, but I would have liked to have seen him hit the back of the net from there. McDonald in behind, here's his chance. Taken out though. Joe Martin, back of the net. He's doing alright with these set pieces of Joe Martin now. Just starting to find his range with him a bit. Boom. Keeper on sighted pretty much with all those players in front of him.
just wide. Running him well in. Heskey trying to run with it, but Brannigan nicks it straight away. Bit cheeky there. Heskey to McDonald. Spreads it wide to Kent. Ryan Kent. Out for another corner. Onto Calvert, back to Kent. Smashes it against the Coventry player. Simeon Jackson's got pace. You're going to have to watch that, boys. And Brannigan back to smash clear. Iron over the top. Our commentary getting some chances against us. That's a little worrying. Let's try and put this beyond doubt if we can. Corner. Dancer Dickens in a run with it. Heskey, ball in. Dickinson taken out. No penalty though. And Simi Jackson in behind. Luckily his uh, finishing ability doesn't quite match up to his pace. Dickinson from range. Cody McDonald from range. Two sharp shooters on the edge of the box. Neither of them able to uh, get through the sea of bodies though. Kent Pritchard. Sol Brannigan short. Keep him shooting from there, that's absolutely fine. Joe Martin not able to find the back of the net with that attempt. Heskey dispossessed a little too easily. Listen to McDonald, can he finish? Kent, can he finish? No, neither of them can finish. Fish back to the goalie. Safety first. Dickinson to McDonald. Jimmy Jackson's pace, but what a terrible effort that is. Wow. Freshen up, give uh, Brannigan a bit of a breather. Try and waste a bit of time while we're at it. Luckily, the commentary players haven't bought their shooting boots today. Oh, <laughs> that was tense. I don't know how we've got away with that, but we have. Minute left to go. Bryant to loft. Ryan Kent feeds fish instead. Feed the fish. Egan well in. Kent to McDonald. He's got to keep it at that end of the field. 20 seconds left to play into Pritchard. Tries to feed uh, Dickinson at the back post. He was able to keep it in. I think we can consider that job done. Yes, it is. Very uh, hard for three points there. Try and uh, rein in Coventry, who are in that uh, survival spot in 20th that we want. Um, another chance against Port Vale. We can pick up that one. Okay, so Freddie Eastwood. Let's get him on his way. 
Um, right, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV. Uh, any feedback, any comments, anything that you can suggest to help me uh, claw my way uh, out into safety, then please drop those in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up if you've been enjoying this series and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's going to be lots of good stuff coming up, most of it Football Manager related, I will admit, but a few other things as well. And if there's any games you'd like me to start covering, I am more than happy to have the suggestions and I will do my best for you. Uh, but until next time, catch you later.